so today's video is going to be on this celebrity inspired look and I'm hoping some of you or a lot of you already know what this look is from or who is by. This is the Naomi Campbell inspired look from the VMAs, the 2016 VMAs. I actually didn't watch the VMAs this year, I'm not sure why, I haven't been able to watch it yet but um, there's been so many pictures of different celebrities and their different looks and this was one of the looks that I filmed. I also filmed the Rihanna look as well. I have two looks for that video so stay tuned for that. So this is my take on her look and I'm also using drugstore products for this video. I wanted to make it affordable so this is a affordable, this is an affordable look. Rocking the long straight middle part wig and the contacts and also was able to get the lip colour as well. I don't have the Pat McGrath lip kit thing so I was able to make my own just using some glitter and this is the look. I really hope you like it. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. I'm going to start off with my brows. I'm going to use the Colourpop Brow Pencil in the shade Black and Brown. I'm just giving myself the shape that I want and then I'm going to fill it in and create the shape. Usually what I do is I have to take my pencil this is where it would start and then twist it to the end of my pupils. That's where the arch is going to be. And then just kind of take it down, something like that. I didn't really do very well, but that's usually the gist of it. And then fill it in with the brow gel. When I get to the middle, I just kind of feather it like this. We'll sort it out later. Don't worry if it's not neat. I usually start off with like a really, I feel like I have a heavy hand for everything. I just can't do things like gently. I have a heavy hand, I just, yeah. I mean, I obviously have to go back and neaten it off, but that's just kind of how I, how I work. Looking all kinds of thick, but we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. We gonna fix it. Take the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and this is the shade form. I'm gonna use that to neaten off the around it, around the edges. So I'm going to use the NYX Shine Killer, I can't find the pore filler, so I just thought I'd put this one instead. For my foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 355 and 360 because 355 is a little bit too light, 360 is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to mix them both but only using a little bit of 360. This is the Matte Poreless Foundation by the way, I haven't been able to try it just because 355 is a little bit light on me so I haven't actually been able to try it out yet. A lot of people seem to like this foundation. So I'm going to try it out today and see what I think of it. So first I'm going to colour correct. This is just for my under eye and my mouth area because I have not been sleeping. I'm going to have the foundation to kind of sit better and cover up those dark areas. So I'm just using the LA Girl corrector, the orange one, just adding it to those areas. And use my damp beauty blender to blend it out. So I'll take the e.l.f. eyelid primer and just prime my lids. Going in with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is their Warm Neutrals. I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to use it as my transition colour. Just something to add, just to set down onto the lid. Like I said, as my transition colour so the shadows can blend better. I'm 
I'm going to use Sweet Tooth by Colourpop as my base. It's just like a bronzy shade. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. It shouldn't be so glittery, but uh, this is the closest bronze kind of base I had. Just using my finger, just because it's, it's easier and quicker. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I'm going to go over it with this bronzy brown shade. Then I'm going to go in with this gold and apply this to the inner corner of the lid. And then a little bit of this kind of green looking shade from the new sleek palette in On The Horizon just to add to kind of make it look not so gold just on top you can barely see the difference but I just need to just to add a little bit of that and for bottom lashes I'm going to use the Colourpop gel liner in workout it's like a dark green shade and then from the makeup revolution ultra professional eyeshadow palette this is the eyes like angels palette i'm going to take this green and use that as my bottom shade just going to add a bit of liner to my top lash line. I'm using my brow gel just so that it's not so intense as opposed to using a black. Just gonna line a little bit of the top lash line. So I've applied my contacts, so I'm going to do my under eye concealer. This is the Elego Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. Her highlight isn't so obvious under her eye, but she is contoured, so we're going to make sure we try and do it quite similar to her. I'm going to use a blender, beauty blender, to blend it out and kind of share it out a little bit. Down the bridge of my nose. And a little bit to my Cupid bow. She's quite chiseled. So we're going to try and create that chiseled look. So I'm going to put a little bit here. So we're going to set it with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. You go quite close to your nose because then that also kind of slims down your nose. And also the jaw line just to kind of define that jaw a little bit more. I'm going to contour using the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Suede Mocha. And then using the Sleek Face Form Contour Kit, I'm going to use Medium using the contour shade to set those areas I'm going to powder my entire face using the Black Opal Deluxe Powder in the shade Deep Just 
I'm going to blend it into the under eye just so that there's no harsh lines. I'm going to go back into that NYX palette and take this shade right here. I'm just going to use it as my blush. Just going to add some bit of colour to my cheeks. And from the Sleek Palette, we're going to add the highlight, just a little bit of a highlight to the cheeks. because She has a very subtle highlight going on. Add into the tip of my nose and a little bit to my Cupid's bow. I'm going to add some mascara to my bottom lash line. I'm going to line my lips with NYX's current lip pencil. Liquid lipstick first and then apply the glitter while the liquid lipstick is still wet. So I'm taking Milani's liquid lipstick, the Amore Matte One in Devotion, which looks like this. I think this is the right one. Yeah, so I'm gonna apply it to my to my top lip and then apply the glitter straight away. It's like a red and black glitter. Okay, so our battery died um, while I was doing the bottom lip. I forgot to mention that the glitter was actually from eBay. Kind of looks like the one that she was wearing. So this is some glitter I got from eBay. They're a mixture of like red and black. Pat McGrath one isn't even out yet. So I was like, I'm sure I have something like this. I was going to just use red and realize I actually have a red and black one. So what I did was to apply the lip, um, the liquid lipstick on top and then before it dried just literally patted the glitter onto my lips 